Alright, bro. Now we'll. Alright, bro. I'ma just, I'ma just leave the shit on. If, if she's like saying too much shit, I'll just mute it so I don't get like banned or some shit, bro. Just lock it. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So sometimes on my journey out into the ether, I see things that really make me scratch my head. As you guys know, it's starting to slowly become a phrase, I'm scratching my scalp, I don't understand it. So there's a longtime YouTuber from the 2K community named Flight Reacts. He has been doing 2K content for, I wanna honestly say the last, what, like five years when I first found out about him, So Luminati and some of the other guys. And I'm, I've been more of a, a So fan, years went on i've kind of just disregarded flight and said like yeah you know just not for me the guy is <laughs> he's very interesting to say the least but the thing that hasn't changed honestly in about four or five years with flight is his interaction with women it's almost so ridiculous to the point low-key i wonder if it's calculated and that's the part that scares me because when i look at flight I, d I don't really see the smartest individual and every single situation that happens with a woman it goes left and it makes me scratch my head like we're talking just the one before this one because obviously the think tank they bring me up to speed on some of these stories because if I see it and I already feel a certain way about the person I'll just be like all right you kind of know what to expect and I'll just stay out the way and won't really watch too much so the last thing I looked into flight, I remember he had got a woman pregnant and they were beefing. And I remember thinking to myself, like, man, if you're in this type of space, which flight is a young, successful African-American man's made a whole lot of paper. The last thing you want to be doing is firing off, shooting the club up, trying to be shined back in what <laughs> the early 90s, just shooting all into the air. That would be the thing you would think not to do. And when I saw that he did it, I'm just like, oh, okay so he did this the woman is showing up to his house the woman's trying to run cars off the road and he continues to deal with this person this seems like a choice at this point this guy seems like he's choosing to put himself in these situations and i remember at the time some people felt bad and i'm just like i don't feel bad for the nigga so then we fast forward and there's a new woman who <laughs> might be <laughs> more toxic than the previous one so much so that you're sitting there, you're trying to focus on your business, you're trying to, well, he already got it out the mud, but you're trying to entertain and pretty much keep your community happy by doing these online live streams on Twitch. And I mean, you could hear with the ferocity of the way this woman is knocking on the door. I hate them, I'm sorry. No, they don't. Yes, they do, no, they I'm don't. sorry. Over... Over okay, don't shit. start. Don't start with shit you get mad at me about, cause we're not gonna go there. Yeah, but that shit is just. Nothing but trouble was afoot. I'm gonna keep it a bean, nigga. Like me, man. I'm not even going to the door, bro. I'm not even going to the door. That just seemed like it. And then she shows up and, oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I got to really think about what I say because I don't want I really got to think about what I say. I don't even want to say the Jack the Ripper thing. I don't even want to say anything along the lines like, hey, I kind of get how Jack the Ripper could exist. I don't even want to say it. But when somebody comes into your house that they ain't paying no bills for, you're sitting there, you open the door. So I'm a, a nigga like me, I'm watching it. I just don't even understand how we even got to the door open and part. But she's in the house now she's laughing she's telling you to turn it off low-key kind of embarrassing you in front of the audience and the thing about when situations i'm gonna say potential dv situations in the making that's the only way i can classify this as because this really could have went left it's never a good look on behalf of the man sorry i had to take a sip of my yak you guys know this but it never looks good on behalf of the man so even if you let her into the crib she starts tearing your computer shit up, throwing, let's say, some water. Maybe you have something like a sticky substance, like you got some juice or something, all onto the computer. This nigga had a 3090. The, the Kool-Aid went right into the 3090 fan, just destroyed everything. In my mind, I'm not saying I would do this, but if, if a... If a more barbaric man just lights off, one, two, left, right, hook, uppercut, sure do you can, and she's flying through the air, I could understand how one could reach that level of irritation and anger. 
So when I'm seeing stuff that could even potentially go down that street, the first thing my brain is saying is how do we stay away from this so we never ever even are in the same room where something like this goes. My favorite quote that I repeat to myself at least once a week and I just see so much going on out here is just like, it's the quote that I probably walk through life living by. A smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. And when I see this flight thing, I'm like, damn, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I be hitting my hand from the back. I be putting my hand in doggy style, greasing it up, fucking the shit out of it. Hey, you know, flight be having some bad chicks, but I see it and I be looking at these bad chicks. You know, Miss Drea, she got, she missed team pretty toes. Like I checked out the IG, toes fire, dog. Like got some fine toes, got the suckables, bro. And we don't even suck toes on this channel, but she got the suckables. You hitting her missionary, she start dangling that foot in your face. That big toe may pop up onto the tongue. But when you see it, and I'm just like, damn, there's pros and cons to everything. When I see these interactions and ladies don't understand the meaning of no. Just get your stuff, bro. No. I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to respect you, just for real. No. You want to show them the set of a relationship, we're going to show them. We do this all the time. Like, all the time. You don't. Yes, we I do. I told you, like, if I the no only works for them like nah, i'm not feeling it i'm not going home with you but like hey yo i'm not turning off my stream what you mean you ain't turn off your stream it's like it's like the no is programmed for them to give it but it's not programmed for them to hear it Ooh, oh my god oh my preach get them rob get them but it's just when i see this and even the last scenario of him dealing with the woman that's supposedly pregnant that is all i'm thinking about i'm like bro how do you how do you this isn't even let's say one chick two three two and three were just like whatever y'all just weren't compatible and then chick four is like okay this seems like it's chick one the the, the pregnant chick nuts and then chick two again I don't keep up to date on every single person YouTubers are dating, but from, so from my POV, this looks like chick one, pregnant chick, chick two be Andrea, crazy OnlyFans chick that she charging up towards the $25. You can, you even see her butthole on that joint, but whatever. Chick two equally as crazy, if not more, and could have potentially put you in a situation where you could have been locked up. The police came, if you guys don't know or don't care to watch this entire video, the police ended up showing up to this guy's house and it's really weird, like, they let her stay in the house and went to talk to him in the hallway. How does that work? How? Oh, I'm not even going to get angry, but how does that work? You come in my house, cause problems, you try to throw, according to him, try to throw water near the PC, you banging on walls, yelling, hitting doors, tearing, essentially tearing my shit up. The cops are called because you're so loud and we've had such a interaction, Flight saying some things in this video that also makes me say like, hey, yo, Flight, <laughs> I wouldn't even answer that, bro. He's saying like, the lady's like, yo, did you hit her? And he's saying like, I, I don't remember, I don't know. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Okay, you know, I, I don't even know if I would have put that in the vid. I, I'm just keeping it a beam, but I feel like with this guy, you've seen so many lows that it, it's not even surprising anymore. But I, I just see the entire scenario. I don't want to harp on this for too long, but I see this entire thing. I watched how it played out, and it's like, is it entertaining? From an entertainment standpoint, you watching this YouTube shit, is it entertaining? It's probably one of the most entertaining things that's not too serious that we've seen in the last week. But when you think about, you know, from a business standpoint, you think about just the type of people that you have in your life and around you I i'm sorry i don't care how good a girl looks it's just it don't even seem like it's worth it and this is coming from a nigga that's actively putting his hand in doggy style and hitting that shit from the back i'd be stroking my hand out but it, it just don't seem like it's worth it. it it really don't she up on twitter right now showing her only fans like niggas told her to get a job she's up there showing that she's in the point 22 percent of uh all top OnlyFans creators, and, and and I'm telling y'all, I say this, I try not to do it too much, but I'm just gonna say this. Yo, when I get old, like I'm talking 55, 60, I've made qualms with like, I've made my peace. I've made my peace with being old already. I've made my peace with it. Some people, you know, I, I can tell there's gonna be a lot of people that when they get older, that, that may be world breaking for them. But for me, I've made my peace with it because I wanna see how some of these people develop because i really feel like there's going to be a generation of ladies that are down terribly once the looks fade like all right yeah she look good she got the suckables some joints probably ain't gonna be suckable at 55 get your get your coin queen but 
I, I just, I see this entire thing and I almost feel like in a way flight, he just doing, he just getting what he deserves. Like this is this, if this is what you're going for at the end of the day, you know, women hold the final say to relationships and you dicking them down. But if that's what you choosing to attract and to essentially go with and deal with all the time, then Hey man, I can only critique her so much. Like, have you, niggas got to have some personal accountability for the type of chicks that they be bringing around. But anyways, that's just my thoughts on the entire thing. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like as it helps out the channel. And we're all about growth here. 40 days at 40 nights. The final countdown. Um, if you also haven't, check me out on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash RMP Kampachi. You give me a video idea and I make it. I may give you a shout out. Also... If you haven't checked out that Patreon with over 110 hours of additional content, you can get in for as low as five. My shit is heat rock. It should be way more than five. But hey, you know, I'm, I'm about getting it out the mud by any means. So with that being said, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Everybody have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon.